show is brought to you by the Black Business School, the number one black wealth institution on earth. To learn how to invest in the stock market for free, please visit firstshareofstock.com. That's firstshareofstock.com. And that link is at the top line of the description box. You got my personal recommendation on that. Firstshareofstock.com. everybody first and foremost i appreciate the fact that you chose to actually look at the channel hip-hop news uncensored hope that you can make this your home and your destination for hip-hop news let me jump into this real quick man um associate of money bag yo and cousin of rapper big 30 who was a close friend of Pooh shiesty was killed in memphis tennessee a day or two ago now everybody all the you know um people close associates of him have been um including money back yo have been putting things up on their instagram in remembrance of newski now if you don't know newski he is like i said the cousin of big 30 uh, did a lot of videos with him and um they're all or both i should say signed to beer gang records down there in tennessee now uh, big 30 actually put this picture up today or this post right here on instagram remembering his cousin um, it's a lot there to read so you guys can go, um, you know, either pause the video or check it out at a later date. But this adds to the rash of killings and violence that's been going on in the inner city, in particular Memphis, Tennessee, you know, for as long as we can remember right now, man. And um, we all know about the Dolph situation. We know about, you know, the two men that are in custody right now that have been accused of killing young Dolph. If you guys didn't see the video yesterday they were in court and they still have not found a lawyer now i don't know too much of the circumstances surrounding this there's a lot more that has to come out but just in general man i mean i just i, I can i get it you kind of get sensitized desensitized i should say to this when you live in that environment and you keep hearing it but it always each and every time i hear this this is super super sad to see men such young men such talented Man, going out like this, either killing somebody, you know, being killed. I hate, I really hate. It makes me sick to my stomach to see stuff like this, man, because when you're really looking at it and you're really adding up statistics and, you know, you look at it and, and they go on and say, well, you got a better chance, right, of being killed by another black man. That's scary. To me, that's scary. And to me, that just goes to show that it's a lot more work to be done. I was just sitting back thinking, like, all right, since we've been, you know, the whole uh slavery story whenever we want to go back to that since we've been here i think we've made certain strides of progress you know but in certain areas i don't think we made any progress at all and that's the way that we deal with each other the way we treat each other you know the way we hold grudges against each other i think that it's been a lot of people that came forward you know that spoke that message about you know how we engage each other and particularly how we talk to each other what we call each other how we feel about each other you know what i mean i understand a lot of this comes from different circumstances that people come up in and i'm not trying to preach to the crowd and say oh you gotta do this and this and this but it just gets to a point where it's like man your heart gets heavy to continue to hear stuff like this like we all we talk and we sit and we say all right who, who's gonna be the next who's gonna be the next rapper who's gonna be the next rapper like guess either the feds running down on them or dying and it shouldn't be that way these men should be able to you know live their lives you know um and be able to enjoy the fruits of their labor but instead there's constantly a target on their back and I've seen, we have talked to, you know, so many different entertainers and rappers. And most of them concur that being a rapper right now is one of the most dangerous professions out there. And it's hard to kind of get around that because you see so many of them dying. I think it was uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins who put the stat out there. And he said, like, over the last year, uh, about over 200 rappers were killed or died. And that's, you know, no-name rappers to mid-tier rappers all the way up to your a-list celebrity rappers and um you know but honestly i think th there's the place it's a place for the gangsterism and the thug rap and you know the drill what they call it but ultimately you know um i think the only way that is gonna change is when the conditions change i think when the conditions change it'll be reflected in hip-hop it's always going to be this type of hip-hop but to me this is dominated 
and the industry is glorified and it seems like every rapper is trying to put that message out there whether they live the life or not and unfortunately you know you got to go back and look and you got to understand that words are powerful i'm not trying to be spooky or not like that but you know you can manifest things with your words and the more that you you know talk negatively think negatively you will manifest a negative outcome not saying this will happen with newski i don't know him personally but i'm just talking about in general as opposed to being positive thinking positive you know uh, 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 and you will begin to see positive manifest i'm a living witness of this it was a time where i was thinking jail i was thinking prison i was thinking all of this you know at a point in time in my early 20s and it ended up happening not as far as prison, but being locked up and getting arrested and all this crazy stuff ended up happening back to back to back. It wasn't until I actually changed my mindset and said, OK, I'm going to start acting apart, dressing apart, you know, thinking to par that things begin to change. So you have to see it first. So that's a start. Just, you know, you always got your diamond in the rough that come up in these neighborhoods who may not, you know, they may come up around all these dudes. They have gangbanger friends and this, that and the third. But at the end of the day. Their mindset was different. So I just, you know, condolences, man, to anybody that hears this. That I always say that, but I mean that 100%, man. Um, a lot of people don't know I had a death in the family. I had somebody, a close uh, relative of mine, you know, who was killed at a very young age. So that lingers with you for years. And every time I see it, it's, it's kind of, you know, brings back those memories. So condolences, once again, a new ski to family. Anybody that knows them that checks this out, man, and just... um. Hopefully you can find comfort, comfort in this difficult, difficult time. But with that being said, man, it's your boy, Oh God, Hip Hop News Uncensored. Man, I definitely appreciate you guys listening. Make sure you guys go to the top line of the description box, as I said, and go to firstsharestock.com. That's firstsharestock.com to learn about how to invest in the stock market. Man, that link is at the top line of the description box. Also, we got the challenge going on. We're about 30 people away on twitter right from being that 1000 follower so what do you have to do you go you know in the description box or you can type in um twitter hhu for life that's hhu for life that's our twitter handle follow us if you're the 1000 person all you got to do is screenshot it send it to me inbox it to me on twitter or email it to me my email is also in the description that's ogod at hiphopun.com that's ogod at hiphopun.com and I'm going to send you something via Cash App or PayPal, whatever is better for you. So, like, once again, if you're the 1,000 person that follows us on Twitter, go ahead, screenshot it. That's your 1,000. I'll send you guys something. Um, And we're right there. I mean, I, I guarantee if you go ahead and you start, you follow us right now, it's a very, very good chance that you'll be number 1,000. With that being said, man, make sure you guys follow the channel. You can hit, do that by subscribing to Hip Hop News Uncensored, hitting that subscribe button on the screen to keep up with us if you want to get everything that we do here every post every video every interview not only subscribe but hit the notification bell select the option that says get all notifications for this channel man say it with your boy man hip-hop uncensored is the vibe so subscribe as your boy got over that peace